Hey everybody, Mushbeard here, back with an Antares, and however you want to say his name. This is post patch. We're gonna take a look at some fights here, real quick, and see how he does. We're gonna try to pick some fights that are where you'd want to use them. Ooh, that's a nasty fight. Theo, it's still the land of Theo Mars, right? So, oh shit, let's go back. Uh -huh, look at his runes first. These are not optimal. These are gonna be mediocre runes you probably expect from an average player you can look he's got around you know 2,000 attack 161 percent crit damage you say wow the crit rate is really low well, he has his leader skill which gives him 24 you know which puts some what, what did I say 2457 sorry um, plus the crit buff um, from his new passive which you know would put him at 87 so it's still pretty high once he's got that up um, obviously he's not that slow, but the changes, soul summoning, which is the same for all the, the liches, summons the soul of the dead to attack the enemy two to three times. It's completely random. There's no condition that I have found that activates whether it's two or three, and that's annoying. Like, if it's just completely random, like, and when you see when he's got the buffs and everything, that's, it could be about 8,000 damage difference. That's a huge freaking difference. So I wish Comptos would change it so there's a condition, like the Frankensteins, where if the enemy has no debuffs, then it's three hits. If they have a debuff, it's only two hits. That's fine. You can predict that, and you can understand the damage you're going to do. This is completely random. Um, this hasn't changed anything. Sinkhole, it's all the same. Although it's doing a lot more damage now. But then the passive. Gains a turn with 15% chance whenever an enemy's turn ends. Same as the old one. But if this effect activates, your attack power and critical rate is increased for one turn. It's nice. It's really nice. I'm having fun with them. Oh, shush bug, is that what it was? All right. I want to run him as leader because I need the crit rate because, like I said, the runes are... I didn't show you the runes. They're, it's all broken. I think it's I think it's energy broken broken because those are the runes I had laying around. Next rune removal will get a lot more testing, but we're going to run you with it to give you 100% crit rate. We're going to run a safer team or try and see how it goes here. And we have to watch for his passive because, obviously, that's when he gets the buffs, but... His damage is all right without it, but obviously when you have those self buffs, they can be really nice. But go here. It's against what I am, which is this will be interesting this fight. So that's a good sign. I was able to take the buffs. He's fast. Let's say what that's gonna do. Remember, it's only 15%. Obviously, on Antares, you probably want to run Despair or Violence. So you need two hits. 2,400. Try to stun him. Didn't stun. I'm probably going to heal. No, 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 Vanessa. Don't. They're all going after him. Stop. I'm going to try to do this. No! We're going to slow it down. We're going to do this. You can see. Oh, just under 5k with no, with just the defense break, so about 10k. And I did heal. No, come on. Stop. Well, that kind of ruins that fight. Uh, I gotta kill him. I gotta waste that. Well, it's because it's the land. When everyone's attacking him, I guess I should have brought, uh, just soon to uh, tank Vanessa, but oh god, that's gonna hurt. Freeze him! Freeze him! I need that buff. That's so I don't get defense broken. Because I can't hit anything else right now. Over here. It's all the basic damage. I'll get you to the more... We didn't get to see his turn proc because he didn't live that long this time. But obviously, that's the problem in the in the arena of Theomars, which is what it is everywhere freaking these days. It's always going to be that way. You have a chance of them just going off on him because that's what Theomars does, and that's why he's so stupid. Um, <clears throat> da -da 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 -da. Freeze Chloe... Try to kill him. Ooh. 
No! I was gonna kill Chloe, but now I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Not letting that happen. Oh no, come on. Oh, you better not. <clears throat> Alright, well, we won the fight. You saw defense break, but you didn't get to see the actual passive in play. And I wasn't going to forfeit that for no reason. Oh god, Orion. Well, we run the risk again. Orion's probably going to attack him, but you never know. It could be on Chloe. The numbers are going to be reduced if I hit the Wind Monkey King, because he's got the passive, but... Oh, man. I guess we'll try to get the boss. That helps. Uh, I'm going to hit him. I hate him. Come on. Oh, see, we stole it. You can see the boss went up. Means we stole the turn, so we're gonna slow it down and hit the Wind Monkey King. He's got the passive, which is 25% damage reduction, so that was like 5,200 a hit. Um, with that's after 25% damage reduction. So the other people I've tested on, it's been around just over 7k, like 7,200 a hit roughly. Uh, I've seen it go up to 8k on a Perna. Like, look, stole the turn again. This time we're gonna slow it down for the second skill. You know, there's no defense breaks. The damage on the second skill has never been great, but that's a lot better than it used to be. Freeze. Heal the Monkey King. Gonna get healed. Oh, hidden. Going on Chloe. I want to steal another turn. I don't want him around, but. Da 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 da. There's been three there, but you've seen the other in the other fights earlier. It was just two. And it does kind of help when you're against a fast team because that gives you more chances to steal the turn. But da -da -da -da. Okay, all right, so we got a little glimpse. Again, the runes aren't the best. My six slot rune is not maxed, so it's only at plus twelve, I think. So. That's not fun. Not for this fight. Oh, my God. The is everywhere. Here we go. <clears throat> Rune removal I will test probably on both Despair and Violent. Slightly better stats, but um, let's see how we can get it. It'll be fun. Uh, No! I wanted those buffs. I stole the turn. I guess we're gonna hit you. Sucks not having a defense breakout, but. No! Stop! Go figure. My turn! My turn! Stop! All right, got the turn. Um, we're gonna do this. Try to keep the attack bar down. <clears throat> see if we can. Oh man, he's tanky. Want another turn? Get off. No. Nope. It's nice to get those extra procs for the since the the turn number of turns you get is less. For the chance to proc the slow is less. It's nice to get those extra turns, or those extra hits to kind of even it out. Let's see, just random. There we go. Oh, see, a third hit would have killed her. I got it again. I'm glad he didn't revenge. Or you back his proc his passive. Excuse me. Hmm. So, um, so I saw that coming.
Oh, come on. Da -da -da -da. No. Jerk. Oh, don't steal it now. Don't steal it now. Whew. Like, I'm going to push it because I just... It's not going to matter either way. But... Should have, uh... Steal it! Let's see. It's I wish you could increase the chance of that to, like, 25. Be more, like, violent. But I guess when it comes... With, if you pair it with violent, it could be really broken. Uh, Alright. Let's try one more. See if we can find a good fight. God, the armor's everywhere. And not to fight the oh god, Jesus. Oh, good god. Now I want to go. Bee smoke's hurt like a bee. Um. What do we run the risk of? Let's go to the other one before that. Oh, just because there's no beast monk, so I can use Tor. But mm. the other one with Tor, I probably wouldn't. I probably run a Sheer and Jolten and stuff, so I probably wouldn't use Antares. So that's why I don't want to fight it. Get him out of here if possible. I know I'm not gonna kill him then, but oh, got it. There we go. No, stop. Please, Bella. Pick you up. Because it's nasty. Yay, defense break. Don't proc, don't proc, don't proc. Yay! There we go. It's a start. I'll purge that. I don't even know. I assumed that was going to happen, but you never know. Dumb. Why did I do that? Kill him. Thank goodness. I'm like, that was stupid. Stay. Ah, oh, you took the wrong one. See some fights it procs more than others. Damage you're gonna say, oh that's pitiful. You can see his base attack is low. But uh when he steals the turn and has the buffs on a defense break, it's not bad. I mean you can hit what? I said on uh, non Wind Monkey Kings, it was like 7.2k, you know, you're looking at 21,000. If, th if three hits 21k on his first skill, which kinda nice, I think, but um, you can judge for yourselves, like I said. I'll show you the runes again real quick. But I actually did show them last time, but just show the stats. You can see, oh, it's energy and door broken. Sorry. And you can see stub stats are just nothing special. Like that's not even that great, but it's got some there. That's dealt plus twelve. Got a decent attack on that one, but. Yeah, nothing super. And look forward to the next video featuring the other new buff monster. Dun da da da! Ardella, baby! Yeah! You can see she's running speed on two, not attack. That's why they attack so low. But because I didn't have the runes, like I said. But during rune removal, we'll get a good, better glimpse of her too. But look forward to that. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is Mushbeard. I am out.